Everybody do it like me. I'm doing big things. My name is Ashley Snell. I'm an entrepreneur, and I made my first million at 28 years old. I got that big, big energy. My latest passion project is my athleisure line, ASC, which stands for Ashley Snell Collection. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm thinking I want it probably on this wall. We're going to have to scoot some stuff over. And when I'm not calling the shots at ASC, I'm supporting my man on the court. But let's be clear, I was a baller before I bagged mine. So today is my photo shoot in Orlando for my new line. I'm getting ready to do my grand reopening. Like I have so much going on. On top of all that, I still have to run the website, the marketing, like it's just, it's never ending. But I love it. I love it. I chose to do this. You made it. Okay. Yeah. Tony is the most supportive husband. Anything that I want to do, he is behind me 110%. How high I'm feeling. With the grand reopening of ASC behind me, it's time to get back to what matters the most being a wife and a mom. I met Tony six years ago at Jimmy Butler's barbecue. I knew I wanted to be married. I knew I wanted to have a family. My journey to motherhood was not what I expected. I lost my father in November of 2018. And one year later, I lost my mom and I was two months pregnant. And then in February of 2020, Tony and I lost our son and I was five months pregnant. The experience was extremely hard, but I still wanted to try for children. So we found a surrogate and Carter was born in November of 2020. And about a year after that, we had our son Kenzo with a second surrogate. What's up, big boys? Look, it's daddy. Hi. hi. Say hi, daddy. Oh, hi, babe. What's happening? Nothing much. Ooh, you, you got some. Did Sasha make you dirty? Yeah. Ooh, so kind of a lot happened today. What happened? The pediatrician that can even take a look at him won't give us an appointment until September. Yeah. So in the meantime, we'll do an evaluation for the autism diagnosis mm -hmm. just to see where he's at. And that's like a nine hour evaluation. Yeah. And with your schedule and like where, what state are you going to be in? Yeah. They have to stay here mm -hmm. because we have to keep them in their programs. So it's a matter of balancing. balancing. Yeah. Drinks. <laughs> Tony's story is an extremely beautiful story. He got drafted into the NBA and so far has played nine years. Then finds out he's diagnosed with autism and he's had it his whole life, which is something that he would have been told as a young boy, being in the NBA is impossible for you. So for our sons, sky's the limit. I would like to start them with like a second language, but let's f focus on a first language. Uh, slow down. Yeah. Baby steps. Baby steps, yeah. I know. Good morning. Good to see you. An assessment is simply the testing portion. The psychologist is going to just review his behaviors, his patterns, the way he reacts to different stimulus to see where he's at. My name is Ms. Card. Even though with doing this assessment for Kenzo, I don't have the final answer, it is nerve wracking given that I have been down this road with Carter before and I just want to get the best help and early intervention possible. So I'm going to do some testing. Okay. Kenzo, can I have the ball? Kenzo. So can I, can I get the ball? I'm noticing that he's doing so many things similar to Carter that he actually has never done in the house being super focused on the toys, lining them up with patterns. I'm really trying to take it all in, but it's leaning me towards knowing like I was right to bring him in to get assessed. So on one of the assessment is a sensory. Uh, he likes loud sound. He likes loud sounds, uh, or he's, he's not as bothered like Carter is. Which one do you want? Yellow, pink, the pink. 
Thanks. Good job. While I wait for Kinzo to get the final diagnosis, I've actually already enrolled him in speech therapy. So regardless if he has autism or not, I'm doing everything I can to just help both of my sons achieve success. How are you? I'm doing good. Great. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm oh, good. This is so cute. I love it. I have a cancer research center above my store. So I would like to do a wig for charity. Okay. I lost my mom to cancer. Really? Please don't start crying. I'm so tired of crying. No, but it's, it's a lot. Oh, I just yeah. lost my sister to cancer. I'm sorry. How to lose your mother. So my mom, I lost her in 2019. Um, she battled for two years with stage four, and she died one year later. Oh, I'm sorry. When my mom was going through chemo, like having to shave her head, and I would figure out different things, and I would talk to like the other women there, and a lot of them did wear wigs. Watching my mom go through what she did, it made me want to make sure that I'm alive for my kids and that that they that they have me for as long as possible. I wanted my mom to be there when I walked down the aisle. I wanted my mom to be there when I when I lost the baby, when I had the babies in. It was just as excruciatingly painful that I couldn't share that those moments with her. I would like to do a wig for charity and I'd like to have you involved in that. Okay. If okay. we can help even like one person yeah. feel good, you know. Yes, and your mother would be like, oh that's my girl. And my sister would be like, you go girl, yes, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> I'm ready. You ready? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All the people in the back, all the people in the front. All right, here you go. So you ready? Yes, I am ready. I'm ready to put you to some drills. No, Iron is coming to show us what the camp is going to look no, like. No, he's going to show us how drills are going to look like with you in it. Because the fifth graders to the eighth graders are around your height. Today, we're meeting with Coach Iron to go over the activities and drills for our first annual Beyond Boundaries basketball camp. So if you could kind of run us through like what the day would look like up front and then we could run through drills. Okay, perfect. So even though it's a camp for like kids on the spectrum, we don't want to make it sound different. How mm -hmm. many people do we have helping? So mm -hmm. I have probably 25 to 30 volunteers. Perfect. I, I don't know how many, but I'll work on that this week. Okay. I also have a girl um, from like our friend group. Her name's Milan. She hoops and okay. so she's going to help. Cheyenne will be there to help. Perfect. I'm also trying to get 10 to 15 staff who are familiar with kids on the spectrum okay. that can just be there. If there's too much sensory with like all the bouncing, right. if someone's getting uncomfortable, they know to watch for that. Okay, so. gotcha. And you're gonna help show what those talents look like. <laughs> uh, okay. I am willing to run through drills here. I am not gonna embarrass myself in front of a bunch of fifth graders that are better this, than me. This not embarrassing? <laughs> you're competing, you're challenging you're competing, them. Yeah. You're motivating them, you're empowering them. Okay. Get ready to sweat. <laughs> we don't wanna be yeah, it looks like that. High hands, high hands, now drop. I think the purpose of the Tony Snell Foundation focusing this camp on inclusivity is so that they can have a safe place to just see anything as possible. They can look at Tony and his career and just feel empowered. Yeah. Why do not sleep with earrings? Hey, babe. Okay. Tony. <laughs> I am running on fumes. Being a mom, running a business, organizing this basketball camp, it has me worn all the way out. How are you doing? Oh, my back. Can you help me out? My back. Okay, slow. Oh, babe. <laughs> slow. I need to take better care of myself, not only for my health, but for my kids and my family. Well, I guess I won't be shooting in the gym with you. 